once we understand how the scientific concept of work applies for individual forces acting on an object, it becomes important to understand how we can calculate the network that is done on an object. And there are two ways in which that can be done. The first way, we will use this example over here where we have a tension force of 100 newtons pulling an object 15 meters to the right across a horizontal surface with a frictional force of 20 newtons acting on that object. The first way in which we can calculate the network done on this object is we can take the sum of the work done by each force acting on the object. So we start out by saying the work done by the gravitational force is zero joules. The reason for that is because the displacement is to the right and the gravitational force is at an angle of 90 degrees downward to that. So there's zero work done by the gravitational force. The same follows for the normal force acting upward from the surface. The tension force, we can calculate the work done by realizing that the displacement is now to the right and the angle between the two is now 30 degrees as given there. And we can calculate the work done by the tension force as 1,299 joules. The frictional force we can now see is a force of 20 newtons multiplied by the displacement. The difference here is that the displacement is to the right and the friction acts 180 degrees to that, so cos of 180. And as we can see, we get a negative work value here. That does not mean that this is a negative value. It means that energy is removed from the system. So what we can see in the network done here it is the sum of all of the forces acting on the object and the work done by the gravitational force is zero, the work done by the normal force is zero, the work done by the tension force is 1,299 joules and the work done by the frictional force is negative 300 joules which should make sense because the force pushing it to the right is adding energy while the frictional force is slowing it down making it more difficult therefore removing energy and our result then is that we have a network of 999 joules added to the system. The second way in which the network can be calculated for this object is we can find the network done by the net force acting on that object. So instead of finding the work done by each force, we can first calculate the network and we can see that in the vertical plane, there is a force of gravity, a tension force, a vertical component and a normal force and the result there is zero because this object is not moving upward or downward and then in the horizontal plane the network done is equal to the horizontal component of tension pulling it to the right minus the friction force acting to the left so we find our net force is then 66.6 .6 newtons to the right so we can calculate the net work done on this object then by taking that net force 66.6 .6, multiplying it by the displacement of 15 and the net force acts to the right as well as the displacement which is to the right so it is cos of zero and that would then give us exactly that same network done on the object. What's important to see here is that since work is a scalar quantity a positive value of work means that energy has been added to a system a negative value of work means that energy has been removed from the system. In both of these examples, particularly this one, we can clearly see that the force that is pulling the object or moving it to the right is adding energy to the system, while the force that is acting against that motion is removing energy from the system. What's also important to see here is that that energy can be added usually in one of two ways. In this example here, since we have a non-zero net force that means that by Newton's second law this object is going to accelerate. Since it, it accelerates that means the velocity will change which means that its kinetic energy will change because a kinetic energy is the energy as a result of the motion of an object. It is also possible to be work to add energy to potential energy in which case this is normally done when an object is lifted upward we know that the potential energy of an object is dependent on the mass of that object and at height above the Earth's surface. So when we are doing work on an object, we are normally adding energy and that energy can be added in one of two forms.